Hi hey guys, it's Rumi the Math Person. Today I'll be going over question number 317 on SLA exam P. So pause the video, video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so assuming that you tried this problem yourself, let's just dive right in. It says the intensity of a hurricane is a random variable that is uniformly distributed on the interval 0 3. The damage from hurricane with a given intensity y is exponentially distributed with a mean equal to y. Calculate the variance of the damage from a random hurricane. Okay, well, this is um, obviously multivariate because we have, I'm going to assign variable x. Actually, I'm going to assign variable y to the intensity and variable x to our damages. And we can actually say that, okay, so what is the intensity? Okay, this is uniformly distributed on 0 to 3. And x, so the f of x, given y is equal to y is exponentially distributed so that's with mean equal to y so that's 1 over y e to the negative t over y calculate the variance of the damages so that's saying calculate the variance of x well if this is a perfect time to use our double expectation formula because one of the variable the one we're trying to find is dependent on the other variable so we can use our um, expectation rules, or I mean a double expectation, double variance formula. For double variance, the ex formula is expectation of variance of x given y plus the variance of x, oh wait, variance of expectation of x given y. Okay, okay. Um, well, we need a lot more. We need a lot more information then, don't we? So, let's think it through. So, from this, we know... Okay, let's read this sentence again. The damage from a hurricane with a given intensity y is exponentially distributed with a mean equal to y. So, this one basically tells you the mean or expected value of x given y is equal to y. Is equal to y. So, this is another information that we have. I can't forget about it. I think I'm gonna write it like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. We got this. And so, what else do we need? I think we have everything we need. Yeah, I think so. And oh, because this is exponential, we can actually say the variance of x given y is equal to y squared. Um, if you're a little bit confused on this, I made a whole video about exponential rules and their variances and x so feel free to check that out but then we know that if expectation of the, uh, x given y is y then we know that the variance is just y squared okay given this we can actually just rewrite this right because we know that the variance of x given y i think i might use it differently this is just equal to y squared and we also know that that expectation x given y is just equal to y so given that we can actually write it out expectation of y squared plus variance of y okay we got this easy okay so actually these are actually capital letters sorry about the confusion but i don't think it's because these are actual random variables but um well to find the expected value of e the y squared so we actually proved this in my last video. Let me go there. So expectation of y squared is this one right here. It's b squared plus ab plus a squared over 3. So if you have time, definitely go check out that other video. But if you don't, you can definitely drive it on the exam because it doesn't take too long. So what was it? what did I just say? Oh, a squared plus ab plus b squared over 3 where a for us is 0, right? because this is the same thing as 0 a comma b so this is 0 plus a b that's 0 plus b squared, that's 9 over 3 plus the variance of y which I also derived in my last video so right here, variance of x is a minus b squared over 12 so, so, so that's a minus b the whole thing squared over 12 right? And then again, a in our case is 0, um, negative 3 squared is 9, 9, 12, right? So let me punch that into my calculator real quick.
9 over 3 plus 9 over 12. This is equal to 15 over 4. And let me turn it into a decimal. It's equal to 3.75, which is your answer number D. If you found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big, big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, comment down, and also don't forget to comment down below for any questions. I think that's about it. Bye! <laughs>